everyone. I sincerely hope that all is well with you and you're ready for today's lesson. And in this lesson, I'm going to talk about most important English confusing words, especially the word flee, when it's spelled as F-L-E-E, -E. and flee, when it's spelled as F-L-E-A, as well as flare, when it's spelled as F-L-A-I-R, and flare, when it's spelled as f l a r e um, after that for each word i will give you its meaning then i will use it in a sentence to illustrate it um, without further ado let's get into details um, the words uh, flee when spelled as f l e e and flee when spelled as f l e a as well as uh, Flare when spelled as F L A I R and flare when spelled as F L A R E are often confused. You two, they have the same pronunciation, however, they have vastly different meanings and spellings that makes them homophones. So you should use them appropriately because that is crucial to effective English communication. And as you can see, love them or hate them, homophones are everywhere. So I advise you to learn them in order to be a good English speaker. Now let's study our today words one by one. Um, flee when spelled as a F L E E could either be used as a noun or a verb. Let's study it when it is used as a verb. Um, in this case, it means to run away, to take a flight, to rush, to evade, or to escape from danger. Let's have an example. Leo needs to flee this place before it is too late. Well, when flee is used as a noun, it refers to a hasty retreat or escape. Let's have an example. He made He flee from the crime scene. Well, however, on the other hand, when flee is spelled as F L E A, first and foremost. It is always used as a noun and it means a tiny and wingless insect that feeds blood on humans or animals. Let's have an example. My cat. My cat is a scratching. all day because of fleas. Now, 
you can take a look how we can make the difference between flee when it is explained as a F-L-E-E -E and uh, when it is spelled as F-L-E-A. Um, you can see we use uh, flee to describe uh, an action that makes us to run away from danger. In the case flee is spelled as a F-L-E-E. -E. However, we used flee when it is spelled as F-L-E-A, when we describe the insect that bites make you itch. Now, move on to the remaining two words, which are flare when it's spelled as F-L-A-I-R. Um, it is always used as a noun. And it means um, a natural talent or ability for something. Let's have an example. Emma, Emma has a real flair for playing, for playing guitar and uh, finally flare when spelled as a f l a r e is a verb which means uh, to burn or to blaze let's have uh, an example um, the fire the fire flood up as the paper cut. Well, my DX, that brings us to the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoy it. Please do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Watch until the end. Give a like, share, and a comment because this might be the only way to help and assist me to continue doing content. As well, do not forget to watch the next episode in order to enhance and augment your vocabulary, which is essential for a better and a good English understanding. Thanks for studying today. And the behest, wherever you are, you're having a great day. Bye.